Liveramento could avoid knee surgery and potential boost for Southampton. Southampton manager Ralph Hasenhutl says there is a little bit of hope that Tino Liveramento will avoid surgery on his injured knee. England under-21 defender Liveramento has been a star performer since his summer arrival from Chelsea but missed Saints' last two games due to a meniscus problem. The 19-year-old, whose return date remains unknown, is being assessed on a daily basis and has not suffered any further setbacks ahead of Tuesday's Premier League clash with Brentford. The first steps in training now have shown no reaction from the knee, said Hasenhutl, whose son was sidelined for a year with a meniscus injury. This is good, no new fluid, and that gives us a little bit of hope. But he's still not in team training, so we will have a look from day to day. Hasenhutl has a major dilemma at right back ahead of the B's visit to St. Mary's. Jan Valery has joined Liveramento and Kyle Walker-Peters on the sidelines following his first half dismissal in the weekend FA Cup success at Swansea, with captain James Ward-Prose likely to drop back from midfield to fill in. The 3-2 extra time win in South Wales was far from ideal preparation for Saints, particularly as Valerie left his team a man short after just half an hour. We had a tough cup fight that we didn't want to have but it is how it is, said Hasenhutl. We cannot deny that it is affecting the preparation for this game. With 120 minutes and nearly 90 minutes, with one man down, it cost energy, definitely. But we will find a squad that is able to compete. In front of our crowd, we will get the extra energy we need, I think. We are known for our intensive way of playing football and we will not change it for any reason. Walker Peters recently tested positive for COVID-19 and is also banned following the accumulation of five bookings, while Alex McCarthy, Fiery Small, Will Smallbone and Musa Gineppo remain unavailable. And more in